A little update for you now on presidential candidate Ben Carson. As we discussed yesterday, if you've been uh, recently murdered in a mass shooting, Carson has some constructive criticism for you. I would not just stand there and let him shoot me. I would say, hey, guys, everybody attack him. He may shoot me, but he can't get us all. Take action. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, show of hands. Who's in for rushing the gunman? Uh, one, two, uh, three. Oh, gunman, hold on a second, please. I'm counting the people. Four. Uh, five. Susan, is that a hand, Susan? Is that... Put it up or down, Susan. I need clarity, please. I need clarity. Now, a lot of people ask, what does Carson know about confronting a gunman? Well, as it turns out, plenty. Have you ever been in the face of, of danger? I have had a gun held on me when I was uh, in a Popeye's uh, organization. Not a Popeye's restaurant, mind you. A Popeye's organization. In case you've never heard of it, Popeye's is a little-known charity that gives out fried chicken in exchange for money. Learn how you can help at PopeyesGivesBack.org. <laughs> anyway, uh, continue your story, Mr. Carson. Guy comes in, puts the gun in my ribs, and I, I just said, I believe that you want the guy behind the counter. He said, oh, okay. You said, uh, no, I'm not the one you want, and they, they followed. They, they did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Ben Carson was in a Popeye's chicken. A guy pulls a gun on him, and Ben Carson says, don't shoot me. <laughs> shoot the guy behind the counter. <laughs> now, this, put, this puts his perspective on mass shootings in a whole new light. He says he would try to get everyone to rush the gunman, but I have a feeling it would be more like, hey, guys, everybody, attack him. <laughs> Now, uh, thankfully, The Daily Show has actually managed to get surveillance footage of the incident, <laughs> courtesy of the Popeyes organization. Take a look. Hey, man, this is a stick-up. I believe that you want the guy behind the counter. Oh, God, he's got a gun! <laughs> Help! You! The one eating the chicken! Don't judge him. What's the guy's gonna do? What is he gonna do, huh? Let the chicken get cold? Come on! <laughs> now, uh, while Carson's remark has landed him in some hot water... <laughs> ...he still has one major supporter who is now also in hot water. This morning, media tycoon Rupert Murdoch is under fire for a tweet. Ooh, tweets. <laughs> Rupert. Can I call you Rupert? <laughs> Look, man. I know what it's like to be young and crazy on Twitter. <laughs> you start to crave those faves, and you don't care how you get them. But once you're a little older and wiser, you'll hopefully stop making mistakes like this. This was a late-night tweet about Dr. Ben Carson, and it has ignited a full-blown Twitter firestorm. Ben and Candy Carson, terrific. What about a real black president who can properly address the racial divide and much else? Uh, no, no, now, guys, guys, let's be fair. It was late at night. <laughs> Maybe the guy suffers from insomnia, right? And the only thing that cures it is vaguely racist tweeting. <laughs> Maybe he was in bed like, well, I've counted backwards from 100. <laughs> I've sipped some warm milk. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Why do Bolivians smell like soup? This is, this is eye-opening, though. I mean, this whole time, conservatives have been accused of disliking Obama because he's too black. And now it turns out the problem is that he isn't black enough. <laughs> well, at least according to my n***, Rupert Murdoch. <laughs> I really do hope that this stuff makes it into his um, upcoming uh, stand-up special. That would be fun to see. Have you ever noticed how uh, some black presidents veto bills like this? <laughs> But real black presidents veto bills like this. 
Crikey, did you redo? The fellas know what I'm talking about.